Welcome back. This is your tea time on Plus TV Africa. So I don't know if I spilled the beans, but we have a very special, talented guest in the building. And our guest name is Brian. Uh, he's an amazing star that you need to be looking out for his songs. He's already dropped a few bangers to know that this guy's onto something. He has songs like Longe produced by, I don't know if I said that right, Longe produced by Olange. We'll ask him when he enters. Launch produced by Spax, uh, Kerala featuring Black Bones, and Dinner featuring Kel P. So uh, please welcome with me. Brian, hi. Welcome, welcome. So, is it welcome. longer or lounge? Longer. Longer. Yeah, longer. Okay, that's what I said. Yeah, lounge. That's what I said. Lounge. Well, it could lounge. be lounge as well, or lounge. Yeah, yeah. status, you know, my dear, lots of lounge and all those things. You know, all that too. Just be us on longer level. Longer level. I've longer. seen that video. Very interesting. Very yeah. like some hot stuff. But I want to know about your journey, who you are. Um, obviously, you're still like making a name in, in your space and stuff. Mm -hmm. So tell us about you. Uh, who's Brian? Brian is like an artist. Of I started making music officially 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. Um, I put this actually, Longer is actually my first official single. Okay, yeah, I was making music, but you know, I was experimenting with a lot of things, a lot of genres. Um, Longer, I recorded Longer in 2019, but we just put it out, yeah, now. like, yeah, very recently, yeah. Too. All right, so I went to your comment section, you know, when you're promoting Longe. And yeah. uh, I saw a lot of people say, man, the banger has finally arrived. Mm. Your mainstream music has <laughs> finally arrived. I start working out for you, knowing that the video dropped just two weeks ago. Yeah. You know, what's the acceptance? What's it been like for you? Wonderful, man. It's been wonderful. I Like, I see random people reaching out to me mm. concerning the song, you know. I was I was super surprised. I went to uh, redraw money some days ago, mm. or like a week ago. I think two days after the song dropped, and mm. somebody came to me. I was like, "We're so happy that you know you you're putting out music officially." Oh, wow. Yeah, I was super stoked. I was super surprised. Oh. Like, please keep on dropping music. Yeah. Don't take breaks. And that I'm, video, you know, it's sorry, gone. No, I, I I kind of noticed that your fans are quite intentional. Like, there's a lot of people that. You see their comment sections on YouTube or even Instagram, and it's just like ha 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 emojis, emojis. Yeah. You all seem to be really personal, like they like they followed your journey. I remember seeing comments like, "Oh, you've got gotten really better." Like somebody was saying that your yeah, involvement yeah. has gone. So people are following you yeah. in this journey as well. How, how, why do you think that is? Like, where do you think they're coming from? Is it school? Do uh, you used to perform somewhere? Like, you know, where do you gather all these fans from? I think it's my social media. I think right. it's the way I go about my social media. Mm. So like, um, I would post like things or like snippets of videos or songs I'm working mm. on and then get the people I'm following to engage. Right. Yeah, so my all my followers feel like my friends. Oh. I like the fact you brought up social media because that's like a powerful tool in yeah. promoting whatever you're doing. Yeah. And your social media is a very interesting one. You have <laughs> over um, 5,000, you know, even up to 6,000 followers, which is not a problem. It's yeah. not about the numbers, it's about the content you put in. And you're verified. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> and a lot of people will see that and be like, but I know the verification is based on content. So I like the fact that you're very intentional about what you put out. What do you think is different about what you're doing? And how would you advise, you know, other artists to really use their social media as a tool, you know, for success? Um, he doesn't want to share his cheat code. He just wants to be doing no, no, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's necessarily a cheat code. I think um, people need to start looking at like when you're doing music or when you're entering entertainment, I think people need to start looking at it like, okay, you make good music, but what do you do outside that music? Exactly. Like, what are you bringing mm. on the table outside that music? Because if you think about it, there's so many talented people, mm. you know, like if you look at like artists like Black Bones, like he has this thing going on outside his music. Absolutely. So there's a reason there's a people, yeah, there's a reason people want to follow you mm. outside that. Because if you're just giving them music, then. So what do you have going on? Ah. Spill it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, my music is based on my like my sensuality. Mm. Your sexuality. Sensuality. sensuality. Nice with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my sensuality, you know, yeah. I'm a very uh, laid back guy, you know, mm. as you can tell from the vibes. I'm a very, very hey, laid back guy. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a very laid back guy and I love uh, to dress up, you know, fashion wise. Mm. and whatnot so. Mm. okay so um tell me about like your family do they support your music is it a music home because i know 2018 is still pretty recent now you're not like two mm. years old so yeah. you've had a long life before that did yeah. you do school what did you study where did you study and what did your parents feel about that like i want to know who you were kind of like before you became brian verified on instagram uh 
I went to school in Babcock. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Yeah, oh, I'm a Babcock man. boy. <laughs> yeah, one of them. I, I knew there was a vibe, you know? <laughs> Babcock, yeah, Babcock really boy. Right. Um, Have you finished? Yeah, I'm done with school. Okay. Uh, I'm a Babcock boy. Um, it was... It was a journey, like, getting my people to accept that mm. I do music because, you know, even when I was in school, my best friend, nobody knew I made music. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a personal thing for me. Right, right. You know, until one day I saw, like, people, like, I saw the way they were dapping up one guy that was making music and I was like, shit, I can get this. I said, like, you can do that. Yeah, mm. I should be getting this too, you know. Mm. So that's what made me to start um, putting out music. Mm. You know. All right, so what's what's your longevity plan? Because you know consistency is key, and then mm -hmm. you know we saw what happened with Bono Boy with the Grammys. Big shout out to Bono Boy. Yeah. 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 yeah, So we saw what happened. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. We have the audience in the house. Yes, yes, yeah. So we're, we're talking about um, Bono Boy. You know the Grammys, and are you intentional about your future plans? What, what what are those things you think you're going to be doing differently than in the next five years? You'll be like, man, if. Brian, no way in Grammy, no problem. The way we were going to, the way we were going to protest this time in Bono Boy didn't win. Um, okay, so uh, we dropped Longer, you know. After that, you know, I plan to put out a body of work. Mm. Okay. Yeah, like, like an, an EP. Yeah, an EP, and then after that, you know. An when album. is that coming out? Not after that. Let's let's start on the EP. The EP. Uh, let's let's see some months from now. Do you have any people you're trying to feature? Do you know how many songs you're looking at putting? Yeah, uh, okay, so I can say for a given that Black Bones is on. Okay. Of course. Black okay. Bones is on. Uh, I actually got that, the way I got the feature was very surprising. It was actually through Oxlade. Oh. Yeah, it was through Oxlade. And when Oxlade helped me get the feature, I never met him in person. Yeah. He, wow. he heard my music from somewhere, and then someone sent my music to Black Bones, and he was there. Well, that happened, and he was like, nah, I know this guy. Oh, I've heard his music, it's fire. Jump on it. And oh. that cool sign, that's how it happened. Oh, that's awesome. I, yeah. really, I really like that. Okay, so, but do you, are you planning on working with any women? Because I used to ask that question. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love, mm -hmm. actually, I actually love You yeah, love women. No, yeah, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. It's okay, you can't love women. I love women. Okay. I love women, okay. but then, like, yes. that's, that's not what I meant. Right. I, mean, I meant, like, you love women. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I love seeing like women in the creative space, you Me know. Too. Mm. Um I don't think it's something that you get to see a lot. I love Absolutely. seeing female producers, mm. I love seeing mm. female creatives of mm. of any sort. So you yeah. know, um I've been trying to reach out to like female creatives like right. around the same age range with me that right, right. are still trying to, you know, mm. get your, everything together. So I would love to work with. At least, I mean, it's well, nice cool. to see that you're on. You're, it's on your horizon that you're thinking about it. That you're, at least you're aware that that's. But if you have to call do. like five artists that you're gonna put on your album or your EP that are just girls, now we you're not allowed to feature any man. Hmm. What hmm. five ladies would you call? Uh, I would love, love, love to work with Tiwa. Mm. I would say. <laughs> love, love, love to work with Tiwa. Uh, I have been blessed to be in the studio with Tenny before. Wonderful, mm, wonderful, nice. wonderful energy. Mm. And then to like younger acts. Mm. I don't know if you guys will know of them, but there's there's this girl, she's called S God. S God. Yeah, it's wonderful music. Mm. Um, there's another person called Suni. Um, Suni another, sounds familiar. Probably. Uh, there's another person called Rinz. Mm. Mm. So yeah, I would love to work with like. I'm surprised you Amazing. missed you missed um, Aria Afri uh, Aria Starting Aria Starting um, Amari. I would actually you, that is a big list. <laughs> I would love to work with Amari. Yeah. Yeah. I I love, me too. If I was I, the artist, I would I love, love to work with Amari. I love Amari's energy. Yeah, yeah. I love love Amari's She's energy. She's really special. But anyway, we're looking forward to your EP. Yeah. Um, probably even a, a what's it called an album if we're lucky. I mean, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's let's slowly but surely. Yeah, slowly what about but your surely. team? Do you have a management? Do you have a record label? Are you like, are you good? Do you what is your hardest challenge putting your music out there? Um, I think as a young artist, it's just the challenge right now is like getting more visibility of, and whatnot. Yeah. You know, and then at the end of the day, like I'm also a singer. I love to sing, mm. and there's COVID right now. We can't really perform mm. you know i can't wait for you know this whole covid thing now to speaking of that let's wrap. let's assume covid stage i guys never finish it are we done no it's okay, okay it's okay no let's talk about covid because you said you love to sing you like to see yourself perform no it's a follow-up question so you can carry on actually so i want to know like 
let's assume COVID never goes away, event centers never open, and we're God just going to be doing. I don't assume such a thing. Yeah. Like Actually, let's say God forbid let's to that first. Let's yeah. not jinx it. Let's not jinx so it. So let's just please. let's just assume it never goes away. What is that one thing about your son that you know you're going to thrive no matter what? Um, I think the way I go about my socials. Mm. The way I go about my social. Basically, your personality, because I yeah. think that's a, like a personality thing. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Well, I mean, we're still talking about your management. Are you in a record label? No, I'm actually indie. Do you want to keep being indie? Uh. I'm basically helping sell your market. So maybe there's someone <laughs> with cash money now. Do hmm, who do I invest in? I feel like now. Nah, let's let's see. Let's see. It's something. Let's see how it goes. Are you exploring um, streaming platforms, you know, like we have the likes of TuneCore, we have the likes of, you know, all the streaming platforms where you can actually be an independent artist, cash in your money and all of that without actually getting signed. Is that something you're considering? Yeah. And are you using that platform already? And if not, why not? Uh, I, I actually am. Um, I'm... I have distro with like mm -hmm. with people in the UK. Okay, okay. Yeah. nice. Okay, so I guess your money. Cashing out. That's why. That's why um, a record label is not really mm, a biggie. Yeah, he's not, not really biggie. feeling your fantasy. But anyway. you keep your money. No, I, I, I don't think it's that. I think like we're in the age where um you can even do yeah, not not necessarily you can you can you can already create that foundation for yourself mm. like. The way we go about music now, we have social media. Nobody gets to regulate what goes on yeah, social media. Yeah. If you put out something with the right energy and people gravitate to it. Yeah. Yeah. As okay, your point well, of contact, we use Chance the Rapper who won the Grammy without getting signed. Exactly. Anyway. But yeah. anyway, we need to yeah. we need to wrap up. Um, but obviously, some people must have been feeling your personality, your vibe, and yeah. you know your face or whatever. And I know you mentioned that you sing. So can you just quickly do us something small ah. before we let you go? Don't be shy. Uh, <laughs> I, okay, let me sing off some lines. My favorite part of um, my f my single that right. I just dropped. Uh, okay. So it says, Make a biddy like a Sarah to your gala, cause I dare look your back, but you dare for my sight. I could swap or the shop. Can you be like knife? I no go for your hand. I no go do you bad. I just reason say you sad. So I want to make you dance. Longer, oh, longer. Hey. <laughs> How do you look at the back of someone by your side like this? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, that's how we have to wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content, by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you go out to my special guest, Brian. Yes, yes, to sure. the video. And then also my uncle, my core uncle, Ifelo Oshike, and Chrissy Jones, who had to step down due to social distancing, and the entire production team. Thank you so much. My name is Ifelo Mai. Adios.